After what seemed like a never ending set of delays, hurricanes and hydrogen leaks, the SLS rocket with the Artemis one mission has now left the launch pad behind me and is somewhere up there on its way to the moon. This is what it looked like as the most powerful rocket ever built. The giant SLS blasted off from Kennedy Space Center this morning just a few minutes before 2 a.m. That rocket is carrying the Orion space capsule on what is essentially a test flight without astronauts on a 25 day mission to orbit the moon and return back to Earth. They will be testing critical components like the heat shield that has to withstand a re-entry into Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles an hour and scorching heat up to 5,000 degrees. NASA this morning is celebrating. What you have done today will inspire generations to come. So thank you. Thank you for your resilience. You know, I said at the pretest briefing, the harder the climb, the better the view. We showed the Space Coast tonight. What a beautiful view it is. So congratulations. NASA's Artemis program is all about returning humans to the moon. Artemis 1 is the first step, and NASA hopes that by Artemis 3, sometime in the next few years, we will finally see the first woman and the first person of color to land on the moon. NASA says going back to the moon will help astronauts learn to live and work in deep space and set the stage for the next giant leap, sending humans to Mars. At the Kennedy Space Center, I'm Clayton Sandell.